Hi, my name is Lindsay. Welcome to Love Them Well Homeschool. I am so glad you're here because today I'm going to show you a video of a field trip that we took to my friend Abby's house. She has bees and she taught us all about how they live, how valuable they are to us, and she did such an amazing job. So I filmed it and I wanna show you guys because I think it would be really helpful for your children to learn about bees by watching my friend Abby explain about bees. She's a homeschool mom, she knows how to teach, she did an amazing job. So we are learning right now in our gather round botany unit about bees. So gather your kids around and let's learn together. Those pants off. All right, so here's the honeycomb in here. That the they honeycomb? Made. Well, the comb that they make that's extra. The comb that's honey. Yeah. <laughs> so you're getting the honey it's out? The, well, I did honey. get some honey out, but. Um, okay, Holy so yes. this stuff that's capped, that is honey that's capped in there. Um, so if we were to scrape this wax off, honey would pour out of it. There's honey in there. See that gooey stuff? It, so yeah, so you get honey from them in the, in late spring all the bees that and then late fall. They were working on it. Yeah, they were, they were actually they were eating. They so were they might have so got um stuck. Oh, like to kind of oh. get energy. and they didn't get around to getting where their other honey was stored because it got so cold they didn't want to move out of their bundle. A lot of these are fairly clean. Can I see the other? Ooh. So they all died yeah, during the it. cold. Oh, they did. What are supercells? Okay, supercells are um, when they make these great big um, honeycombs. See how these ones are stuck off? Mm -hmm. There'll be some that are even like longer and bigger than that. And they'll, I'm try to find one, they'll and they'll be. create a queen in it. She yeah. she needs a bigger um, a bigger house to grow in, and the bees will um, make something called royal jelly, which is the most special stuff that they eat. And they only feed the babies that for about three days. But the queen, if they decide that one of the bees is going to be her, she gets to eat it the whole time while she's a larva until she becomes a queen. Oh, yeah. Royal the, jelly? Yeah. It sounds crazy. Wait, yeah. so, um, look at so the regular, yeah, so look the regular that. stuff that they eat yeah. would take a long time to turn bees. them into a queen? Well, yeah, it wouldn't, they wouldn't, it wouldn't turn them into a queen. So this is a supercell here. Oh, cool. These cells that are actually like bigger and longer, not so those, this one, um, where they could raise a queen in it. And this stuff in here, this is um, pollen and nectar they've collected. So it's good to keep flowers Honeycomb! Around. Yeah, Honeycomb, oh yeah. honeycomb, honeycomb. So much honeycomb. And then this stuff, Bright I'm getting out. into some of the brood. Brood is where they keep their babies. So when they're little larvas, but before they become an adult bee. Here are all the sad dead babies. Are. So this stuff right here that's capped, that would be some brood where they have babies. Where are the, are the babies trapped in there? They're, no, they're dead. <gasps> I see a little one that was just forming. Yeah, look at those tiny larvae down in there. Those were forming. Yep. Look at this baby. So once they get big yeah, enough, they cap them see? like a cocoon on a butterfly. And, the and then they would eat their way out when they become an adult bee and come out. Sometimes they, they use those for brooding there, there has uh, to be the drones. One. So there are not going to be any drones in here. Do you know why? Drones are the boys. The whole entire colony are female, except for a few hundred that are the drones. So there's thousands of females and a few hundred boys. But when they just, um, it's like a kingdom. the drones just go out and hang out with the queen in the spring and then they're done Ooh, they're for dead? the season. No, they, they're not dead. They just don't have anything else to do. So they just that. come like bum. This is all honey. That's so much honey. And they'll put it in here. It? They'll put it in here um, to feed the young. So this is where they'll have their brood. Be and then lessons. when they get There's big enough, one. when they get big enough, then they'll um, feed them the honey. I have like seven frames in there. I'm going to start with okay. that and leave this because then yeah. the whatever colony we create or what that we get next can oh. use that honey and then they won't be just like starting from scratch which is harder how long can you leave honey in here before well, you can't do anything with it, it? Uh, honey never goes bad mm. but ants will come and then mm. scavenger bees will steal the honey from other colonies and come and take it so 
What? Sometimes you want to take all of it, and sometimes you can leave some of it. But I'll need to clean every right. single Are one. Are you going to clean those out? Yeah. So I will come in here and clean all the bees, oh. all the bees out. And you'll just reuse those frames? Yeah, and you can reuse them, and they'll build, rebuild comb on it, refill them with honey. They'll actually, there's some bees that their job is to come in here and clean up too. Um, Have they? Will they decide? Do, do all colonies kind of look the same as far as? Uh, this is where they're doing honey. This is where they're making babies. This is where their uh, queen will be. Is it the same? Well, the, hi the hives are set up differently. Like I have a tall one. So the bottom box will be where they have their brood. Then the next box up is where they store a lot of their honey. And then the next box up is whatever the um, beekeeper can take. So this, these first 10 frames is where they keep some honey and their brood. The next 10 frames is where they store their honey they're going to need for the winter. And then the last 10 yeah, they are really is clean, um, really. considered the super, and those are the honey frames that I would harvest. So oh. I never harvested from this colony uh, last year. Uh, I left all that honey for them because okay. they didn't so, start these frames yet because they were a smaller colony. So how do they make um, royal jelly? The royal jelly is a mixture of honey, nectar, and their own special and, um, spit. And is royal jelly um, edible? Um, people do eat that stuff, yeah. They, they get it out and they do eat it and they even put it in like shampoo and body products and stuff i even saw some toilet paper that had royal jelly like infused into stuff. it and i was like what wow uh, i would really like jelly in my butt so that we won't find any br um drones in here because when winter happens and there's only so much honey the girls kick all the boys out uh oh and they have to we just they just have to die. Were you surprised they, they died from February or? Um, so some, this has happened to me before and mm -hmm. every beekeeper will say, you know, you always, there's always a chance mm. that this how, can happen. How many bees are in here? Uh, there could have been thousands of bees for sure. I and mean, what's your swarm box you wanna, um, got in it? Is it a pheromone that they want to come find? And um, so it's some old honey and old comb and then a couple old frames and then I put on the entrance essential oil of lemongrass. It oh, smells so okay. good on the entrance. And that's Okay, when they die from um, cold, what happens is um, it gets so cold, they all cluster and then to stay warm, they have to stay with each other. But if the colony doesn't move up or back to where their honey stores are, they'll just stay in the bundle until they freeze because they don't necessarily hibernate like a bear where he doesn't need to eat. They still need to eat throughout the winter to keep their energy up to stay warm. But if they, if it's too cold that they can't even move themselves to another part of the hive, um, they will starve to death. Um, uh, mm -hmm. I have a question. So, yeah. um, uh, so did they all die at the same time? Um, I don't know the question, the answer to that. I think probably. You know, some of these bees might have made it back here to some of that honey, and they might have stayed al alive a little bit longer than everybody else. But, um, then they but die. yeah, but then when you uh, get far away from your little warm group, you're gonna die pretty quick. Um, can I? Can I um hold one of those little like oh, off? Yeah. So I want you guys to feel this. Oh. Hold that. Okay. Hold the everybody weight. hold that. That's an empty frame. Pass it around. Oh, I was wondering what and you And then I want like you to pick up this. Pick yeah. Up this? Yeah, two hands. Oh. That's not even full of honey. It's only half full. Oh, wow. Oh, Isn't wow. that amazing? Which one did I this is only half full. You get full to hold of honey. this. Yeah, hold, hold that. Two hands. Two, hands. two hands, two hands. That's only half full of honey, but it gets heavy. Just imagine carrying around like 10 of those. Put it in a backpack. Lucy, did you try it? It does. Can I like hold like, right. like can I hold this outer bit here? Yeah, you can break it off. Okay. Oh, look at this. Show me. I'm holding that. I'm holding up. People don't eat that. Nah. A little like That's just outer a straight glance. wax. But throw it back in there because I will melt it down and make candles. Oh. Ooh. And you can make chapstick. You can make all kinds of you things with these. Look at this. Well, you don't. You clean it first. There's a way it's to um, filter it it's so dope. the wax is clean. You're not old um, enough to realize You filter it through silk, and then it's not gross things. anymore. It's just straight, clean, beautiful beeswax. 
mix it, oh, mix it with. Uh, I just think that the wither and is that why you don't eat chapstick? Is that why you don't eat chapstick? Oh, wax well, doesn't I'm, hurt I'm you. You can eat chapstick. And, <laughs> and I think those uh, those ones. Um, I didn't see a lot of uh, activity on the other hive, and so I think they died sooner in the winter. So. Let's get a little bit of a video. Okay. Some B-roll. B-roll. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the... Um, oh, wow. This is a Langstroth. And this is the shorter frames. And that's like golden... That's probably uh, summer honey. Because it's so golden. So cool. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. So I can keep this. You can keep it. Okay. Yay! This is another bee box. Uh huh. This is nice honey. Yeah. Look at all that. Look we at all should, that honey. We should take that. Look at that poor little bee. I know. He was. He was. So sad. He was about to eat it, and then he just froze. Look, yeah. there were babies hatching. That would be where one of them was hatching. Oh wow! Ooh. And now, what are the are I, those babies? No, they're um down in the down in the honey just trying to down eat it. In it. Okay. But um, oh, this is goodness. where they would be hatching out. And I have been, we've gotten to say happy birthday to some bees before. I was inspecting it, and Penny and I watched one chew its way into the world. Oh my God. And we were like, happy birthday, you were born. Wow. <laughs> it was fun. It was so fun. There's some more birds. Now, and would the bees who live here and here's some, like, go to the bees who live there, or are they like, are oh, they like friendly? Are they question. like enemies? Are they. Uh, they would, yeah, they would like, fight for resources if they didn't have guard bees, but pretty much they, you can have a whole bee yard with like 20 and they're all like boxes friends. and they'll all be doing their own thing. But if there are bees that come from other colonies that don't smell the right way, mm. just kind of like everybody else's house smells like a certain thing or whatever laundry detergent so you they use. Know. They, they stick know. stick together with their and clan. They there know what their... every box? Yes, and every okay. queen has her own scent. Wow. Okay. And um, every colony has their own scent, and they know each other. And if you don't smell, like, uh, our family will kick you out the front door. That's what the guard <laughs> bees are for. It's not very hospitable, are they? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, hey, this is our stuff. Back oh, and up. it's two, three And layers? this is a bunch of nectar. That's why it's so shiny. Oh, okay. Flower nectar. Oh, wow. wow. Okay. All right. So if you're inspecting your hive, you have to find the queen or signs that she is still laying eggs. So eggs and larva. Um, if you don't find her or sign of it, you're going to need to um, either you can purchase a queen from uh, companies and, and uh, beekeepers that raise them. Or from your other hive, you can take a frame that has um, fresh laid eggs in it and brood out of one colony, put it in the other colony, and those bees, once they sense that they don't have a queen, they will um, take one of those eggs and rear it as a queen. Wow. So they can requeen for themselves. Um, so you might have luck doing that as well, um, because the colony won't survive without their queen. She's the only one that has um, the, the ability to reproduce. But she's the only and one. I don't the only get one. So, um, and I don't miss him um, there is something, and I forget the name of it, where uh, if they're missing a queen, there will be a bee, possibly two, since they're all female, that will start just laying eggs. But because she can't um, mate, those will be sterile. Like, they will not ever turn into anything. They'll just be eggs. Um, and, um, yeah, and so your colony is just doomed if you don't have a queen. So you have to take measures every time you inspect it to make sure that she's you either see her or that you see fresh eggs and larvae and sign that she's producing. Because um, sometimes they get old, and also a queen that's old... Um, the, the bees can sense that, like her production is low, and so they will create a supercell and start a new queen. Um, and a lot of times they'll requeen inside the hive, you know, before she dies, and then the new queen and the old queen will have to fight to the death. Why? Because you can only have a queen in your the, colony. In the end. 
There can be only one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. Here's all the types of bees that we have in the hive. The first one, you guys know who this is, right? The queen. The queen. The queen. The queen. So she's pretty much um, the boss. She tells everybody, you know, like, hey, I'm the queen. And she's the only one, even though the rest of the colony is mostly girls, she's the only one that can lay eggs and create new bees. Okay, this guy, see his huge big eyes? Mm -hmm. He's a drone. There's only a few hundred of these that are born every year in the hive. Like They're it. the only boys. And they only get to hang out because they have to go find queens from other hives because they can't mate with the queen that they were born from. So they have to fly around in the spring, find a different queen and mate with her, and then they come back and then they just loaf around for the rest of the summer. And then in the fall when it gets cold, they get thrown out of the hive. Goodbye, and they <laughs> probably die, right? <laughs> okay, so when a bee is first born, she has to chew through her little um, hole in the comb and get out, and then she has to start cleaning it. So first her job is to clean for a few days, okay? The queen? Uh, not the queen, the, the babies. babies, when the babies are born, and the, the, gr the girls. When the girls are born, they start to clean, okay? And then, they become, they transition after a few days of doing that. Then they do um, nursing. So they go and feed um, royal jelly and honey and um, uh, all kinds of things to the larva wow. and, and the babies because they from, can't do anything for themselves They just yet. went from baby cleaning to straight up adult. Yep. Okay, and then... They are construction bees, so their next job is to... Carpenter bee. Yes, carp well, not carpenter bee, that's a different type, type of bee. So in the hive, the honey bee, she'll start be being construction. She'll rebuild new comb, and then she'll cap honey, and she'll do all the things that have to do with building. All that sticky stuff that held the frames together cool. is called propolis. And it's like bee super glue, and they can create that, and it's I, different from wax. I got stung by one by a uh, by a honey before. Oh yeah. Oh uh, yeah. That, I got stung by. That's it. so sad because then the bee died. Mm -hmm. So we have to say, mm -hmm. "Oh, sorry, bee, because you died." Okay, then her it's next job bee. is guard bee. Guard. All the girls. All the girls I got are guard by bees. One too. Yeah, the boys do not get um, to be to do this job. So they have to kick out intruders. Wasps, ants, um, hive beetles, or anything else that comes into the hive they don't want. And there are probably hundreds, maybe even thousands. Yes, of them. yeah. And I actually am missing a card, but there's also an undertaker bee. There are certain what bees. What about this one? Hold on for that one. There's certain bees where their job is to take the dead bees that die and carry them out and throw them out of the hive. So they're called the <laughs> undertakers. <laughs> and then the last job they have when they're really old, like granny age, which is really in the summer, only maybe a few weeks. Um, so a few every few days they change jobs in the summer. Um, and then their last job before they die is to forage, to go out and get water and to get nectar and pollen for the colony. And then the guy who... Um, and then they, they get so worn out from flying and flying and flying and flying, like miles every day, um, that, they, that they finally just die. But then, that whole time, the nurse bees are nursing new bee, um, she's laying almost um, a thousand eggs a day, and the nurse bees are nursing those bees, and so they're reproducing and reproducing, and more and more bees are being born to replace all the bees that pass. The so how long are they living? Um, in the summer for two to three weeks. In the winter for um, months. At These a time. are so So it depends cool. on the season how long they're going to live, and they just keep re reproducing either slower or faster depending on the temperature and the season. Cool. Am I going to get yeah. The queen can live up to four to five years, but all the rest of the bees, they won't live for a year. So they'll live for a few months, or they'll live for a few weeks, depending on when they were born. Within three days, it hatches into a larva. Within four to ten days, it becomes a larva that spins a cocoon called a pupa. I do have a bee suit, too. You can make best. Honey bear or honey badger. And then I have big, long gloves that are real thick, so if they do sting... Um, on the hive, and it makes them sort of confused because they can't smell the ones that are sensing danger, the guards. They can't scent that pheromone. I'm getting in. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, all right. Somebody, please take a picture. Hold on.
It's your one birthday. <laughs> it's your birthday. Oh. Okay, first we're going to uncap. So before you can fling the honey out, you have to take all of the wax cappings off. Can I feel how heavy that is? Yeah. This is it heavier? Really this is the no. best birthday it's, ever. It's heavy, though. Can not I feel it? Can I feel it? Yeah. Mom, this is the first time I've ever <laughs> like... Like Here is how we uncap. Grant, do you want to help me with this in a minute? Yes, you I do. You take I this do. cool uncapping I can't see. Comb. I can't see. I can't cool. see. All right. And then um, you just barely get under these caps. And it's kind of hard to do. It is? It's a little bit tricky. You don't want to poke it straight in because then it will just tear up all the comb. So if we leave a lot of the comb, because then the bees will be able to rebuild like it. This. Mom, beekeeping in Minecraft isn't like this. You can just all get, honey, all the sticky get, part. Just dig your oh, finger in there. I don't, I don't, don't want to get honey. You don't, want to do it? Mm, you don't like honey? Oh, Wait, is it going to make like honey go everywhere and everything's going to get all sticky? No, uh, the lid's going to go on top. It's going to fling it all around in here. And then it's going to drain slowly to the bottom. And then it's got a spout that we pour out into this bucket, but this bucket has strainers to catch any like weird stuff that you don't want in your house. Imagine. Okay, can so I, then, Can I spin the wheel? Oh, yes. Okay, so here's the deal. Can you call said, no, do it first. automatic ones? They do. They're really expensive. Yeah. And people who have like 50 pipes have those. Yeah. Just like meat grinders. Okay. I want to do it again. I think your mom should try it. You think yeah. she can go really fast? No. Oh! Oh, my mom. Okay, you do. Do you yet. There's this strainer and then this strainer to strain any of the weird stuff out of it. Yeah, I hope you work. enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe. Thank you, Abby, for sharing with us everything that you know. I was so impressed by you, and I'm really glad we're friends. I hope you guys all have a great day. Bye.